battery exhausted or battery low, forgot another battery, or extended shooting, this could come, come in very handy. So it's just got enough power just to fire up, and then it's decided, no, actually, it's not got enough. So that's all it can do. Let's try it one more time. Try and take a few pictures or something. Is it in manual mode? See if we can get it. No, nothing. Absolutely nothing at all. So, factory exhausted. Let's plug the uh, power in. It's gone into, obviously, turned off mode, but let's turn it off and back on again. Will it will will it work like this? Yes. So we should be fine now. Absolutely. So it hits buffer. Absolutely fine. So yeah. So even though the battery is exhausted, you can still plug the USB straight in. It's not like your phone, where say the iPhone, if you exhaust the battery, you have to wait about ten minutes before it's got enough charge in the battery to carry on. So this obviously bypasses the battery itself but probably only by the connections um, of the battery as you plug it in. So it's obviously a bypass, but you have to have the battery plugged in. So if I take the battery out, um, it's gonna cause major troubles. It stops working. So there you go, it doesn't wanna come back on until I actually initialize it. There you go, so now it's back in. We don't want to recover anything because I'm not that bothered. Okay, we'll just do that. Formatting camera. So, yeah, it doesn't matter what you do in the day, as long as you've got a battery in there, you can plug it in USB power and it'll work fine. So guys, this video here, I'm basically just got this plugged in now and I see the counter on the right hand side, that's just my, my phone and it's out of sync with the video, but it just shows you that it's a constant uh, video. So you know I haven't just turned it off or you know cheated or anything like that. Because um, there are going to be bits of this video cut out because it's rather boring looking at a camera just recording nothing really. So anyway, the, the reason I'm doing this video is one guy I know called Chris, another photographer, he uses the RX10 Mark IV. This works with most of the Sony's now anyway. Up, to, up from, and even maybe the A6000 has USB charging and USB power. So you can go into the menu. So with the RX10 Mark IV, if you go to menu and then over to the toolbox uh, icon and then go to page four, in there is USB power. If you turn that on, it allows you to plug in um, one USB charging and two USB power. So basically it means you can now plug in a power bank, ideally uh, 2.1 amps or more, plug it in and you can power up the camera. I've never used this and it was only Chris who was talking about this morning saying he'd ordered a dummy battery. I was like, what? He said it ordered a dummy battery so you can ch charge it off a USB thing. And I thought, hang on a minute, I'm sure it does. You, I'm sure the Sonys do USB charging. Not that I've ever used them. But yeah, so I thought, you know, I'll, I'll do a, a little test and see how long we can go for. My USB bank there, you can see on the left hand side, is actually only half charged. I mean, it is a 20,000, I think it's a 20,000 milliamp battery, so it's quite a good size battery anyway. So basically, plugged it in, and as you saw at the beginning, the uh, exhausted battery, I actually just plugged it in, pushed record, and just left it. But you've got a 29 minute and 50 second record time on video. So every time it stopped, I just restarted it recording. And I did an hour and 15 minutes before I got bored. So in this video is around about an hour's worth of video of nothing really, just my coffee table and um, speaker and everything. But the it's just a handy thing to have because I didn't really know if it worked or not. Uh, it does, which is great because it now opens up another avenue of going out in the in the night time or doing you know long long walks and things like that or out set up somewhere and the camera can just be on doing its thing if you're out in a, you know if you're in a hide or something like that you could power you know rather than having to worry about having loads of batteries and it running out just last second 
before you needed it you can literally just plug it in usb bank with a battery on there and you know it's going to be a worthwhile little thing so the fact that you can plug in obviously straight to usb like that from a, a power bank or if you plug it in with a long cable so if you've got a three meter one or even a five meter long usb cable you could actually plug it straight into your phone charger as in like an iphone charger or whatever but as long as it's ideally 2.1 amps i haven't tried the one amp but i imagine this uses enough power that you probably do need 2.1 amps so and it's going to obviously give it enough plenty of power to actually uh, make it work i tried it it takes photos it zooms in and out at normal speeds there's no there was no difference in performance in anything and it just worked really well so that's that's really really good it saves one buying stuff you don't really need and two obviously if you've got a power bank you've got extra power so like to say if you are out and about and you suddenly I think oh no batteries are running out I've got no I've done it a couple of times where I've only taken one battery with me uh, because I hadn't charged another one up or something like that and I've got out and I've been out and I've got down to like 10% and I thought oh, I might as well just go home now because I haven't got enough power really to do much more but you know having this now is is pretty awesome um also obviously you can obviously recharge it as well via usb so that's good so you could just plug it in your car if you've got usb in your car plug it in just leave it charging while you're driving and uh you know at least tops the power up a little bit on the battery so really really handy little thing to have and i think sony were out of all the camera companies for for quite a few years were the only ones that actually allowed this uh, in use you know they actually put it into the cameras so um, i don't know why other people hadn't but yeah so it works um, just thought i'd try it out it didn't cut off at all it just carried on doing its thing didn't get too hot or anything like that um, it was recording 4k so i had the screen pulled out just so you could see it on the camera but it did get a, a little bit warm on the back but nothing no overheating warnings or anything like that well, i've never done an excessive amount of videoing with the rx10 mark 4 before so you know the fact it went for an hour and 15 minutes straight without any troubles whatsoever in 4k absolutely a good little test there and um that works really well so very pleased with that the other thing is you just got to make sure it's a decent quality size power bank this one here I, whatever make it is sumo vision or some vision uh was just an ebay one it was about 15 20 pounds something like that it's a t i think it's a 10 or twenty thousand. i think it's a twenty thousand milliamp um power brick because it lasts actually ages when you're charging stuff off it very very handy to have it's quite a good size you can get smaller ones obviously so you know but i would say always try and find one that's got at least 2.1 amp power coming out of it as well as obviously the usual one or if it's got more so that works really really well um but as you can see here it's in the video it started another recording there and it's just going to go and go and go but yeah so just a little video guys just about usb charging and actually how handy it is if you are running low on battery or you know but you've got to make sure you have a battery in there because it won't work at all so you just got to make sure you have that so that's the most important thing so even if it's a, a dead battery as in it's run out you can still power it up so just one of those things don't forget to click the subscribe button little notification bell any questions about any of the cameras i use so rx10 mark 4 a7r4 and obviously previous cameras a7r3 a7r2 um, even back to the a99 stuff like that um, if anybody still uses those i'm not sure uh, feel free to ask any questions uh, menus are all pretty much the same on the cameras anyway so yep yeah, obviously bar a couple of extras here or there depending on which camera model it is um, so yeah feel free to leave comments down below um, if you've got troubles with anything and you can't work it out feel free to ask as well no problem at all and i shall see you soon